and I'm not exactly sure how it works. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so it has a little lock on it. I guess when it's locked, it doesn't work. So there you go. Hey y'all, it's Kara Delin, and I'm back today to talk about what sold from Friday, April 24th to Sunday, April 26th. And it's about three o'clock on Sunday, so it's everything that sold up until this point. And these things sold on eBay, Amazon, Mercari, Kitizen, and I think that might be it. Um, so, in a variety of different avenues, I can't wait until I'm able to do a big yard sale or in-person sales because I have tons of stuff that's not worth uh, the shipping price but still has value. So, coming soon, as soon as Indiana is opened up, I'm going to be having a big sale. Before we jump in, I wanted to just mention a couple of people that have been amazing viewers and the first is the winner of the 100 subscriber giveaway. Her name is Susan. She sent me this beautiful card and she wrote me a really long message. I thought that that was so sweet, such a kind gesture. Thank you so much. And she did mention in here that she is uh, a person who enters sweepstakes so she is constantly winning. And I thought that was kind of funny because she won my giveaway as well. So she's just very lucky. So thank you again, Susan. I really appreciate it. The next two people I wanted to recognize uh, is my friend Christy and her beautiful, fun daughter, Abby. She is a doll baby. Uh, Christy had ordered quite a few things. Actually, this is her second order from me. And I think she ordered like eight or 10 things from my eBay. And I appreciate her patience while I tried to figure out how to set up local pickup, um, which we finally got it figured out. So she did come by and pick those things up. She had her daughter with her, doll baby. So once we are able to have visitors over, I'd like to see Abby back here. She can play with Lucy and, and uh, we'll just watch her for a while. She was very fun, very cute. So hi, Abby, and thank you for being such a loyal viewer. And thank you too, Christy. Okay, so for this three-day weekend, we sold 19 items for a total of $404.37. It's an average sales price of $21.38. So we're gonna go from the least expensive to the most expensive. And I'm going to tell you where I sourced these items from. Um, and if I remember, I'll tell you how much I paid for them as well. Okay, so the first item is this Fiji body spray for men. It's Old Spice. This sold for $2.50 plus shipping. I should mention I had a 50% off sale running in my eBay store, which is still running for some of the older items. Um, anything that I've posted in the last probably week or so is not included in the sale. Um, but several of these items that sold for a lower dollar amount were part of that 50% off sale, like this. So, sold for $2.50 plus shipping, and I believe that came in a bulk box. I'm not sure, to be perfectly honest. It may have just come from our stockpile. Second item that sold was this Contigo uh, water bottle or hydration bottle. And I'm not exactly sure how it works. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so it has a little lock on it. I guess when it's locked, it doesn't work. So there you go. Kind of neat. Uh, this came from a bulk box and it sold for four dollars and sold for four dollars and ninety-nine cents plus shipping. That was the Fiji body spray. It's fine. Okay, the next thing that sold is this set of champion uh, women's no-show socks. It's eight pairs. This sold for $5 plus shipping. Then I also sold 10 pair. Nope, this is nine pair. Nope, it's 10 pair. 
10 pair of uh, the liners, the, the shoe liners. They're champion. These sold for $6.99 plus shipping, and that came from a bulk box. This came from a bulk box as well. This was a kitchen towel, all clad, Turkish combed cotton. I mean, nothing fancy about it, but this sold for $7.99 with free shipping, and it did sell on Amazon, Fulfilled by Merchant. And then this is the next thing that sold. This is kind of how I do my inventory. And I'll open this up, but as I put things into inventory, I have totes in the garage with letters on them. So it'll be like a, a tote that says A. And then within that, there are things in numerical order, like this was A2. So I would just go into the A bin, find A2, and I put that in the custom SKU in eBay so that I'm able to find things pretty quickly. And remember, if you're going to use these, uh, clear poly bags for Amazon. They need to have the suffocation warning. But this sold as part of the 50% off sale on eBay. This is a Tommy Hilfiger shirt and it sold for $9.99. It's kind of a thicker, thicker than a snicker material, almost like a, like a jersey or something. Um, it's got the big spell out and it is in a 2X. I picked this up at the Mustard Seed Thrift Store, which is just a local thrift store. Um, it's got two locations in our area. And this was part of their $1.47 sale when they were remodeling. And it sold for $9.99 plus shipping. I had it for a while. Like I told you, I, I hate clothes. I think I'm getting out of clothes, but you'll be surprised at the number of clothes I sold. So who knows, who knows people. All right, the next thing is this Basic Instinct. It's a little rollerball. Um, it's pheromones. I don't know, sex appeal in a bottle. So once upon a time, I sold Pure Romance stuff. And I still had this in my inventory. And I don't even know if this is a product they still sell, but um, as I was cleaning out as part of the virus stuff i found this and it did sell as part of the 50 percent off sale for 13 dollars plus shipping and it's good i mean if you can still buy it go out and buy it um i have a great connection that is still part of the pure romance group so if you if you're interested send me a message and i'll get you her information okay the next thing to sell i'm not going to take it out of the package but it is a Captain Underpants Little Boys, or I guess Little Girls, t-shirt. And this came from a Via Trading box that I opened off camera. Sorry, guys. This sold for $14.40 with free shipping, and this sold on Amazon, fulfilled by merchant. Eventually, I'll send all of my Amazon stuff in once I know that they have uh, opened up the fulfilled by Amazon items to non-essential things like, you know, groceries and home goods. Um, then I'll send all of these clothing items in so that they're stored at Amazon and fulfilled by Amazon. Instead of fulfilled by me, it just frees up space and they handle all the customer service and shipping and it's just, it's a lot nicer. Amazon is a lot more particular in how packages are shipped out to their customers. So I just rather them do it, honestly. Okay, this is a Tiger Disney Store. It's got the little Disney Store uh, little patch there. And this, I don't know much about Disney movies, it, as crazy as that sounds, but this is from A Jungle Book, or The Jungle Book. And I posted it as, um, I put The Jungle Book, but I also put Tiger King in the keywords. And this sold full price for $14.99. I said free shipping, but I'm not sure. I usually charge shipping on my plush items, but this is hopefully Tiger King helps sell that one. And I picked that up at the bins. Did I say that? 
So it probably cost me 50 cents or so, because you pay by the weight. The next thing to sell, and I'll take it out of the package. This one is a J84. This is one of those plus size Ella Popkin shirts that I picked up at that estate sale. I've talked about it in, in prior videos. And I picked these up 75% off on the last day of the estate sale. So they were anywhere from 50 cents to a dollar. This is just kind of, kind of a satin shell. It's just a sleeveless tank. But it is a size 2830. It's a plus size. And this sold for $15 plus shipping. Okay, the next thing to sell are 10. Okay, so this is a bra. A couple funny things about bras. This is a uh, plus size bra. It comes from Lane Bryant. Right? Cute. I think that's called a plunge. I also used to work at Lane Bryant for a, a hot minute as well. I've kind of done a little bit of everything, I think. Um, but that bra I picked up at a DAV thrift store. And that thrift store is over in Louisville, Kentucky. And it's in, I would say, not the nicest part of town. Um, I don't know much about that area, but it's right next to, and this is why I say it's not a good part of town. It shares a parking lot. It's right next to a strip club. So like a gentleman's club. Um, and I don't remember the name of the strip club. But basically, you're pulling in to the strip club. And then you kind of veer a right and you park next to the thrift store. And I'm always worried that people are going to think I'm coming from the strip club instead of the DAV. But I don't care. Ultimately, who cares, right? So, um, yeah, that's interesting. I, I've not run into any dancers that I know of inside the DAV. They're probably too busy trying to earn a, a living over there. But, um, yeah, you, you kind of go where the, the thrifting takes you sometimes. And that thrift store is not my favorite thrift store. Um but the people are very nice in there, and you can usually find some really good deals, especially on their clothes, um, because they don't mark their clothes up very high, I don't feel like. I've gotten Eileen Fisher there. I've gotten uh, a big thing of homeschool books that sold for quite a bit, and this bra, I wanna say, was like maybe a dollar or something like that. But it sold for $15 plus shipping. Another funny story about bras. I sold a bra, it's probably been a couple months ago, and it was it was a big old bra. I mean, it was like a, a, I don't remember the number, but it was like a G cup, or maybe an H cup, I don't know. But it was a big bra. And I shipped it off, and the person knew it was pre-owned, and they wanted to return it. They said that it didn't provide enough support for them. Now, usually for return claims, you'll ask for pictures, right? You'll say, eh, you know, if you say that it's damaged or broken or not as described, you may want pictures. I wasn't about to ask this lady for pictures of her and her bra to show me that it wasn't supportive. Uh, the good news is she never did return it. So eBay, ultimately I reached out to them and they closed the return request after probably a month had passed. And, uh, and it's all taken care of, but you get some crazy requests from time to time. Okay, the next thing to sell was this pair of Lucky Brand shorts. They're little pull-on, kind of a sweatshirt material, uh, shorts for a little boy. And these sold on Kitizen, actually, for $16.50 with free shipping. And I'm thinking about doing a video on Kitizen. Um, it's something I just kind of have gotten involved with that app, and um, and it's interesting. It's a little bit different than all of the other apps that I've sold on, but I think it's probably more user friendly, and um, I think people would appreciate that. So I may do a video just specifically about Kitizen coming up. So we'll see. Okay, this next thing was from the bins. 
And uh, this is a little rat puppet. I think his arms move too. And I picked this up at the bins. So this little guy sold for $19 plus shipping. And I mean, it doesn't weigh half a pound probably. So pick that up at the bins. Okay, and this next item was purchased by my new friend and a very loyal viewer of mine, and her name is Penny. She has a YouTube channel with her daughter, and it's called Two Girls Pickin'. And I wanna make sure I, I say it correctly. It's the number two girls and then pickin', no G. Two Girls Pickin'. Yes, and I'll, I'll link their channel down in the description if you wanna go and follow them. Uh, but Penny shares this channel with her daughter, Emily, and she purchased this item for her granddaughter, Lily. So I appreciate your loyal viewership, being a subscriber, and definitely for your purchase. So she picked up this Oneida Children's uh, Silverware set. And it is, it is really nice. It's just got a little bit of that damage right on the case up here. And I showed this in a recent video. I think this was a bulk purchase and she picked it up for $19.99 plus shipping. So thank you very much, Penny. I appreciate it. I hope you get a lot of new subscribers. Thank you. Okay, this next thing is kind of a stupid purchase. It's dumb, but back when I was first getting into uh, selling um, a little more seriously, I guess, I was trying retail arbitrage. And that's where you go out to these retail stores and you find things on clearance or a good deal or things maybe that are just local to your area and you buy them and then you resell them online. So I picked up these Star Wars Force Link items and there's four all together. This is like the main thing. And then there are all of these um, other accessories where you can link into this. And there's three of these little side things. This is the third one. And I mean, they're pretty good size. I think I paid between three and five dollars a piece for them. I thought, oh man, I'm gonna make a fortune on this. And we've had them for like a year. They finally sold for $24.99 plus shipping, which yes, I do get my money back from what we put into it. But I mean, I've held on to it for a year. I would definitely not buy that again for the price that I paid for it, three to $5 a piece. Um, it's just not as popular as I thought it was. I don't know much about the Star Wars stuff. Uh, my husband is a big fan. My kids are big fans. Um, uh, but I just see Star Wars and I'm like, oh, it's going to sell. Not necessarily. You really need to do your research. If I were out shopping today, I would not pick that up. But back then I didn't know what I was doing. So that was a bad buy, but I, I at least broke even. Okay, this next thing is a board game called May Cause Side Effects. And I picked these up retail arbitrage recently. I actually just received them in the mail on, well, I guess it was online arbitrage because I ordered them online. Uh, but these were um, ordered from Kohl's. They uh, were received on Friday. And I think I ended up paying like $13 a piece for these. And I sold this one on... Amazon for $28.39 with free shipping. And really the only reason that I'm trying to sell this on Amazon is because it's listed as a toy. So I'm trying to show that I'm selling toys and that it's um, good so that I can become ungated in other toy brands. So anytime I can pick up toys or health and beauty products that I can sell on Amazon, I do it. Even though this isn't a huge money maker, I think it's a good business decision down the road that hopefully will allow me to become ungated in other categories. Hope that makes sense. Okay, the next thing to sell was this pair of silver jeans. You can't see 
much about it, but it's a Tuesday slim boot cut. And these are actually uh, low rise, which people say, oh, low rise doesn't sell. They sell for me. So these silver jeans, they are new with tags. I got them in a Via trading box. They sold for $54.50 on Amazon. In one of my very first videos that I ever put on YouTube about reselling, I talked about gum and how you can find these different types of gum flavors that they don't sell in the stores anymore that people are just hooked on. And I actually sold some. So I wanna show you this. This is Trident Layers. It's a Swedish fish uh, flavor. And these are considered, they call them bricks, but they're, they're what would go to a store and they would just put this on the shelf um, usually. But these Trident Layers, these bricks, I picked them up at a flea market and I want to say I paid like $2 a brick. These sold for $59.97 plus shipping. I don't know. I, I, I still don't understand the phenomena, phenomenon, phenomena, about buying this type of gum and paying such an expensive price, but I mean, I'll take advantage of it while I can, right? <laughs> All right, the last thing to sell was this uh, cotton duvet set. I got it from a bulk purchase and this sold for $71.18. So it's very nice. I don't know if I would pay $71 for it, but that person did, so hooray. All right, well that's it guys. That's all the things that I sold from Friday to today, Sunday. Now it's about 3.23. Um, so that's it. And I'm pretty happy about that. It was slower than I expected with a 50% off sale. And I'll mention this too, if you're, if you're thinking about doing a 50% off sale. Just because it's marked at a 50% sale or promotion, it doesn't reflect that necessarily in the sales price. So, for example, I may have, this, this rat is a great example. So this guy right here, I think I had him posted for, say, $29. But he was part of the 50% off sale. So if the person went in and just bought this, added it to their cart, and paid for it, they would have got it for about $14.99, $15. Well, the person um, that ended up buying this liked it or watched it. I think you watch it on eBay. So I sent an offer to them, and it was like three o'clock in the morning. I was just laying in bed, couldn't go to sleep. So I sent them an offer for $19.99, which is more than the, the price they would pay if they just went in and bought it. And they came back and countered at $19. So I took it, and they bought it, and they paid for it. So I ended up getting four more dollars than um, if they would have just went in and bought it. Several of these items are like that. If they would have just went in and purchased it, they would have gotten it at a cheaper price than when I made an offer to the watchers and they accepted. Weirdest thing. So I don't know that the 50% off sale boosted anything. Um, I don't know. I was just kind of experimenting around and seeing what works and trying to move some of my older inventory. So we'll see. Um, good luck. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and uh, I'll see you very, very soon. Thanks. Bye y'all.